WMBD is your local election headquarters. And with early voting starting yesterday, many counties are looking for some election judges. Now, our own Sheridan Hurtig joins us live in studio right now. So, Sheridan, tell us how does this process work? Where can people go about to try and become an election judge? Well, Shelby, while I wasn't able to get word on every central Illinois county and how many election judges they're seeking, Tazewell County is having a great turnout of election judges, but Peoria County is lacking quite a bit. Registered voter and uh, 18 by election day, uh, which is the requirement to be a registered voter. So yeah, just a registered voter living in the county. With only two solid requirements to be an election judge, you'd think it would be fairly easy to find people who would like to participate. However, one central Illinois county is lacking. We're running short uh, for this election, specifically uh, Republican election judges, but we do need election judges. Peoria County struggling to keep their election judge numbers up despite them using various resources. Juniors and seniors in high school can work as an election judge, and we've had some luck there. But we're also doing just outreach to the general public to, to be election judges. Thomas Bride, executive director for the Peoria County Elections Commission, says COVID-19 has affected the amount of election judges they get, among other reasons. We don't have elections in June, and, and I think people have summer plans, and, and um, that may be affecting our, our the ability to get judges, some of them who have worked in the past who aren't working now. Tazewell County Clerk John Ackerman is seeing the opposite. We've had a, a great outpouring of support for election judges. Um, we constantly ask for volunteers, promote it. Um, Right now we're setting fine. Each polling location requires three to five election judges, and Tazewell County and Peoria County judges make $165 on election day. Both Peoria and Tazewell County have training videos online, but with new paper ballots in Peoria, election judges need two hours of hands-on training to get used to the new equipment. I also reached out to McLean County Clerk Kathy Michael, but she wasn't available for an interview today. Now, for those who want to check out sample ballots to see what their ballot will look like this year, head to our website, ciproud.com. Rebecca.